Many of you have seen the experiments where somebody hits a tuning fork and a tuning fork that's further away starts to oscillate and vibrate at that same frequency, right? This is called sympathetic resonance. We humans are no different. We all have an auraic field, a magnetic field that surrounds us, an energetic body. Science disregards this because it's not quantitative. You can't measure it. There is no data. There's no analytics. So they disregard it as pseudoscience. But it literally could be the missing key in understanding why certain people get sick when surrounded by others. And again, our colds and flus are not sickness, they're just expressions of detoxification. Many of us have come to understand the truth about terrain theory, right? And germ theory proposes that microbes are the cause of disease and so we must medicate the fish or medicate the human. Whereas terrain theory proposes the idea that sickness is generated from within. The terrain is what is responsible for how our expressions of sickness occur. And so instead of medicating the fish, it talks about cleaning the terrain, cleaning the environment, cleaning the tank in this case. So if the microbe isn't the thing that's causing people to be sick, what is it? And this brings me back to sympathetic resonance as a possible cause of why we get sick around other people. We know that our biology can be influenced by other people's energies. Have you ever walked in the room of low vibrational beings and felt your vibe completely just go down? You felt your moods just sink into the ground? Our own empathy shows us this, right? Have you ever sat down with somebody who was telling you a past experience that was quite dangerous or alarming or traumatic for this person, right? And you try and put yourself in those person's shoes and ultimately you start feeling those kind of same symptoms, you start feeling down, you start feeling alarmed, or you start feeling these emotions that is changing your physiology, right? Simply because you're being empathetic towards this person. So in the same way, right, we have this auraic field, this electromagnetic field that surrounds us, and it's constantly relaying information with our body. And so when you are going through some kind of detoxification, you better believe that information is being relayed to your energetic field just as an emotion can be relayed to your emotional body and people can know if you are angry or upset simply by just being around you, right? So in that same instance, when you come in contact with another person's auraic field, another person's electromagnetic field that surrounds them, there is an exchange of information. There is some form of communication between these two fields. Just as the tuning forks start oscillating at the same frequency, there is communication there. Now with that being said, is it possible that if somebody is going through some kind of detox experience, their energetic field is communicating to somebody else who hasn't yet gone through that detox experience and their energetic field is communicating to this other person that, hey, there's a potentially an environmental toxin that's floating around, there is some kind of chemical that might be inducing some kind of toxic overload in the body, it's time to detox. So as a protective mechanism built into the fabric of the human experience, into life itself, you're warning other people energetically, subconsciously, that there is something in the environment that you must detox. And so this other person goes home and starts having colds and flus. Now it's easy to believe that that is contagion, that there is an invisible killer floating around. But it's not so easy to believe that it could be an energetic communication. Why is that? Because this hasn't been studied. Science doesn't care about this stuff. And if they were to fund it and put money into reliable research, authentic research, they may come to some alarming conclusions that might just shatter already existing paradigms that enslave humanity. Hey, that's my proposal. That's what I've come to understand. That is a possible cause of contagion and there's a lot more to it. But let me know your thoughts below. Does this sound reasonable to you?